Uh, Troy, start with the positives, four power play goals. How much of a relief was that for you? Well, obviously when you're uh, zero for 15 or 16 going into the game, it was certainly a priority. And we made some, some changes this morning with the units and it uh, obviously paid off. So uh, that's a step in the right direction in terms of getting the power play going. And uh, you know, to get four goals like that is, uh, is nice. And you know, we're just going to build the momentum on the power play. So uh, hopefully that's one area that's uh, is going to uh, be a positive here moving forward. Uh, another letdown in the second period again tonight. Kind of anything you can pinpoint that's causing that right now? Uh, it's just the youth of our team. You know, it's like uh, you got to manage the momentum swings. And, uh, you know, as the head coach, I've noticed that since game one in Toronto, right? And it's just, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about playing the game in five-minute increments and, and trying to get the momentum back when we lose it. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the last two nights, that's what's happened. And, and then all of a sudden, your defensive game disappears. And you, you've lost your structure. And, and, you know, then you're chasing the game again. So uh, it's certainly something that I think that we could we can get better at and, and will as the season progresses. But, uh, um, you know, we got to be better without the puck here because uh, obviously giving up 12 goals in the last two games is not going to – not a recipe for uh, for winning. A uh, quick turnaround of the game against, uh, against Laval on Wednesday. Kind of what's the message now as you start the next week? Well, I'll take the day off tomorrow, come back to work Monday. You know, we've got a lot of work to do. You know, I think from a coaching staff perspective, we've probably got a lot more work than we anticipated. Um, you know, we knew there was going to be some good young players coming in this year. And, uh, we've got some high-end skill, but uh, you know that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. You know, so um, you know, obviously, I think our, our, our D is a little bit vulnerable right now, and our goaltending's got to be better as well. So um, you know, just all areas of our game, we, we just got to improve on. That's all we can uh, worry about right now is, is having a good practice Monday and then focus on Wednesday. Now, obviously, the focus is on the youth of this team. Would you like to see more from some of the veteran guys early on to lead the way? Yes, yeah, certainly. There's some guys that are off to uh, slow starts, and uh, you know, I don't know how much more we can uh, we can wait in terms of uh, uh, being patient and, and, and loyal and sticking with some guys. And uh, Carcone got his first goal tonight. Maybe that jump starts him. But there's certainly some guys that uh, you know, not necessarily veterans in the American League, but uh, some guys that are in year three and uh, year four and year five that. Uh, you know, have been known to, to be able to help contribute uh, offensively, and uh, it puts a lot of pressure on Braun and Bathurst. You know, just uh, there's not a lot of insulation for those two kids right now. And, uh, you know, it was nice to see Norris get going. I thought this was, you know, arguably Norris's best game uh, to date. I thought he was flying, and I uh, certainly liked his, uh, you know, his compete, and uh, it was nice to see him get going offensively because uh, there's no doubt he's going to be a player. Uh, there was some uh, reaction to Abramov being scratched. Uh, was there any reason for that? Yeah, I mean, he needs to play better, you know, so we've got some depth of, uh, uh, with some of our prospects, and if you're not going to play the right way and do the right things, then we're going to have to make tough decisions. And, uh, you know, Abe uh, struggled last night, and he took an undisciplined penalty, and at 2-1, uh, you know, instead of moving the puck on two different occasions, he turned it over at the blue line and it was in the back of our net that, to make it 3-1. Uh, those are the things that's, uh, that's happening right now with some of our young players, so... Uh, we have to keep them accountable, and that was a message to him. And I'm sure there'll be other players uh, in his predicament here going forward that'll be uh, treated the same way. Uh, is it tough when you have? So uh, Josh's first of all, first professional goal. Is it kind of nice to get out that get that out of the way early on, rather than having it linger throughout the season? Yeah, um, obviously always nice to get the first one out of the way. Um, nice pass by last year it wasn't um, yeah, too hard of a goal. The goalie was down, and just uh, try to put it on him. Uh, four power play goals tonight. What kind of had that unit clicking after a slow start? Um, I don't know, I think we're all just on the same page. It was um, our first time kind of working together, and um, everyone's smart on that unit, so it was pretty fun to be on. I'll uh, see another uh, poor second period, giving up three goals. Um, just kind of what is maybe happening that second period over last night and tonight? Yeah, I think um, there's just, you know, a few times during the game where we kind of let off the gas pedal, and um, we turn pucks over and don't stick to our systems, and um, we're a young team, and we have to learn, and um, you know, not, not get too down on ourselves, so um, just have a good week of practice next week. Yeah, so how do you guys kind of pick yourself up after after this weekend? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's tough, obviously, you know, you're losing two games at home, and um, you want to win as many games at home as you can, and, um, but it's early in the season, we're not you know, freaking out too much right now, and um, like I said, just get back to work uh, and practice next week.